Hello, welcome back to uh, Let's Watch Watch Out for Fireballs, play the uh, the Binding of Isaac. Um, <clears throat> I did one video, had that super crazy successful rum run. I had some successful rum I drank, and uh, people seem to like it. So I'm going to do another one, um, just because one, I feel like that run went extraordinarily well. It's not, uh, you can't expect that every time you play Isaac. And two, um, you know, some situations obviously didn't come up that I didn't get a chance to uh, talk about. So, um, just one real quick. I'm going to take a look at my stats real quick. So you can see where I'm at. Um, found all the secrets. I have 261 mom kills out of 326 runs. All the items, all the endings. Um, and uh, so let's get started. I'm going to do Isaac again. It's because he has this D6 item. Um, it's very useful. You won't start out having it. You have to, you have to get it by beating, you know, progressively intense... Uh, you know, goals with different characters, but uh, it's gonna allow me to show off a little bit more of the game. And one of the things that, uh, so I have the Curse of the Lost. Uh, what that means is that there are four rooms added to this floor. Not a big deal, and actually on the first floor of the game, it's a bit of an advantage because um, these first rooms are very easy, and uh, because they're easy and I, I want more of them, I might get more keys, more bombs. Um, I shot all the poop there because they can uh, contain money. So this is an item called the Mulligan. It is a wonderful item. I'm not going to re-roll it. Um, they grow inside. And you'll notice that my arrows up there turn into a little fly. Um, my shots now have a chance of spawning a blue attack fly. And you'll probably see it here before too long. There you go. Um, it's just a percentage chance. I want to say it, it's based on uh, your luck. I don't know if that's actually the case, though. Um, luck is not something you can increase with items. It's something that uh, you can just increase with pills, like this one. Let's see what this pill is. Health down. That's terrible. I now have two hearts up there on the upper left. It's the worst pill you can get in the game. Uh, excepting possibly speed down. Speed down is really terrible. Because um, you start out fast, but not too fast, like just fast enough. Now I'm here at the boss. I'm going to fight the boss now. Because let's say the boss gives me a treasure I don't like. If I want to re-roll it and then I get a second treasure I don't like, I probably have enough rooms left to charge up my d6 for a third uh, reroll. This is the Duke of Flies. He's a very easy boss. There's a champion version of him that's a little bit tougher. Um, and because I have this tier upgrade, um, he's going to be even easier than that. Um, you just need to keep your distance. And uh, you know, notice I have just been firing to the left this entire time. Just be mindful of, uh, of the flies. He spawns two different kinds of flies. Some that he uses as shields and some that kind of come out and attack you. If you ever want to end that fight real, you know, right quick, you can throw a bomb at him, and that'll do almost all his, uh, all his life and, and damage right off the bat. I'm gonna take this HP upgrade, so it's a bit of a wash on that boss item. But I'm gonna explore the rest of the floor. Remember, this floor is easy. Might get some extra stuff. I'm unlikely to take damage, or at least not damage that I can't, uh, can't replenish. Now, <clears throat> because I have the mulligan, that changes. One of the things I love about Binding of Isaac is every item you get changes your strategy. So because I have the mulligan. What I'm going to be looking for in my rerolls and things I'm going to want are uh, rate of fire upgrades. The more tiers that hit, the more likely I am to spawn blue flies. Uh, blue flies do a lot of damage. They home in. There are a lot of advantages to them. So I want as many uh, chances to produce a blue fly as possible. So tiers upgrades, um, you know, tiers up. That is uh, my favorite thing to get. There are a couple of huge items for that. And I hope I get them. And I'm going to do what I can to ensure that, which is to... Uh, you know, is to use the D6 smart, in a, in a smart manner. So not much else happened with that, uh, that thing. I'm going to show you a little trick here. So I'm looking for the secret room. The secret room is always surrounded by uh, three or more sides. So it could be here, if you look at my map. But I'm going to check here first. The reason being is this is next to the shop. So if, let's say I go into the secret room, I get a lot of money, enough to want to go to the shop, I can then bomb my way into the shop. Like Isaac, in a game that's all about this randomness, it's about stacking advantages that you get. Like you don't get tons of advantages, but which ones you do, uh, you want to use. Now, I have seven cents. Um, most items are 15 cents. However, sometimes they're on sale and they're worth, uh, they're only cost seven cents. So it's worth it to me to check out the shop. And uh, so this is the Book of Revelations. I had it in the last run. It gives me a spirit heart, charged up every six rooms. The main reason I wanted to go in here though was to buy a key on uh, these, uh, because without the key, I can't go to the item room, and I'm going to want to do that on the next floor. 
grab that spirit heart. I left that in there. You want to grab your spirit hearts uh, if you're able to as late as you can um, on the run. There's our little baby uh, asphyxiating in a treasure chest. And here I came to the treasure room early. I got hit there. That was bad. But this is excellent because it means that, let's say, I want, I can potentially do two re-rolls of this. Um, the quarter. So that's 25 cents. That's all, that's all it is. It just gives me a shop item. That is a tricky proposition. I have a key to go to the shop. There's what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to go check and see what's in the shop first. So that's the coin purse, or that's a mom's bottle of pills, or this is the coin's purse, but it's full of pills. I don't want that, and I don't want to re-roll it. Shop items are different than item room items as far as like the set that they come from. So I have a good chance of getting you know a different item for that. So I'm actually gonna re-roll the quarter. Book of Belial's real good. I might roll with that. That doubles my damage. Um, what I really want is a tears upgrade. Um, but I'm going to put off that decision for a little bit because I can always come back and get some more charges on my D6 and probably end up re-rolling it um, just because I really want, like I said, uh, you know, that increased damage isn't going to affect my flies. Oh, it's just going to affect my, uh, you know, the damage that my tears do, which is worthwhile, but really I'm trying to increase my rate of fire. Here, fight the boss. I'm going to have a re-roll by the time he's done. And it may make all this stuff moot. Like, depending on the boss, like, let's say I get a deal with the devil, it's mom's knife. Um, I definitely don't need Book of Belial then. So it might actually make my decision for me. So knowing the, the kind of the, the point at which you have to make a decision is important in, in Isaac. Um, so this is Monstro, uh, regular Monstro. I think you guys saw me fight uh, Monstro 2 in the last video. He's not too hard. Um, those shots can be kind of difficult to dodge. But uh, so he has a pretty obvious tell there. Um, he's just about he's done. So I do get a deal with the devil. I do get this uh, my favorite uh, boss pickup item, meat, which damage up and health up. Deal with the devil is going to offer me two items. This is what I'm going to do: re-roll those. Uh, these are interesting. I'm going to take. This is the mark. It cost me one heart. It's a tears increase, so my tears, my rate of fire show up a little bit, and a damage increase. So with the meat and that, my damage is doing pretty decently. Um, I'm still gonna, you know, I could re-roll that book of Belial and get ah. Uh, okay, so I hate envy. I hate super envy even more. This guy has a chance of giving me an item, which is kind of, you know, it's a bad item, but it's a. You want as many opportunities to get items in general as possible. Uh, but you'll see why this guy's a pain in the ass here very shortly. Um, so really the, the kind of uh, best practices strategy is to just concentrate on the small ones. You have less stuff bouncing around the screen, but that can be difficult. Especially when you have flies going after, you know, they have minds of their own. I'm doing good damage though, so it's like that's an advantage I have. And okay, so I'm glad I got that. We're going to talk about that item here. This is an eternal heart. This is a great item. Um, it operates if I can either if I get a second eternal heart it will turn to a regular heart. Yeah, this will all make sense why I'm grabbing that spirit heart now. Or if I go down to the next floor, it will turn to a, a regular heart. So I effectively got a, a health upgrade right there. Um, the reason why I picked up that uh, spirit heart, on uh, that armor heart, is because uh, armor hearts go first. So this is risky, but bombs are key. That's actually good. I'd rather have an extra key. Um, but yeah, so spirit hearts get taken off before my eternal heart gets taken. I am gonna go in here. That's excellent. I'm seeing this, you always go in these rooms. This is Lord of the Pit. It is a flying item. 
Uh, but I'm not, if I, let's see, if I go up here, I'm going to lose my Eternal Heart. Because it's going to be one to go in, one to go out, and then one to go out. So I actually, no, that's going to leave me with just my Eternal Oh yeah, and when you're flying, you take damage, or you don't take damage going into things. Just out. So... Um, that I said that real quick. It doesn't necessarily make sense. Make a pretty de demonic little Isaac here. Um, worth it to get that money. Which is there anything in here I wanted to buy? I could buy another key. I could buy a bomb. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna buy a key. I'm not really doing a money strategy here, so I'm gonna spend that to increase my advantages. Now uh, here's the the real decision. Let's reroll it. All right, Brother Bobby is a familiar. He's uh, the weakest of the just shooting familiars, but still a damage upgrade. Um, you know, and one that is always going. I don't have to use an item for it, so it's worth it. So watch as I go down to this floor, my eternal heart will turn into a health upgrade. Ba-ba. So I have four hearts again. I'm flying, which again, um, as I said last episode, huge defensive advantage. If you recall these doors with the swords, I can only go in if I have full health. Took a key, so that was a risk. That could have just given me like half a heart. But I don't think I went into any mob trap rooms last time, so um, I just call them mob trap rooms because uh, the YouTubers that I've watched call them that, so I don't think that's what they're actually called. These are interesting monsters. Um, they go down to that ooze state there, and then uh, they can only be killed once they're there, but they'll regenerate from it with less H HP. Not a health down. No, it's another bad trip. So that just hurts you. It doesn't permanently take away health. I'm having very bad luck with pills, though. So if I were to see that mom's coin purse item that just is a bunch of pills, I definitely don't want to take that. Because, again, bad luck with pills. Good luck with money, though. There, a nickel. There. Don't want to use my key on that. You can hopefully see just how exactly how powerful flying is. Like, my increased mobility is making this a lot easier to dodge these kind of tricky rooms. Even though I didn't, uh, didn't do it there. Lard is an excellent item. I'm going to grab that. It is a speed down, which kind of sucks for us right now. Um, but it's two health upgrades. And I'm just a little bit slower. Um, but speed ups are relatively easy to come by. So a lot of items give you more speed. Um, but even though I did get hit there, probably because of my, my speed down. So good luck with items so far. Had pretty good chances. Um, don't even know, I don't know if I'll get as far as I did during the last run though, because that was an exceptionally good run. But I have good, uh, good chances to at least make some decent progress. These guys are going to have to play chicken with them. I'm going to go in here just to fully explore the floor. I can just hang out over these, even though my shots don't go through the rocks. You can get an item that lets your shots go through rocks. I could just literally hang out over rocks and never get hurt by these guys, but not doing that. Remember, colored enemies always drop an item. I now have 15 cents and two keys. Um, that is worth going to the shop. First, I'm going to check here for the secret room. Remember, uh, always surrounded by at least three sides. And it's a slot machine. That's the worst secret room. I'm going to go ahead and blow it up. You get something from, from blowing up slot machines. That's worth it. Key and a heart. With three keys, this is worth it. Tons of money. And a bomb. And yeah. I have another heart up in that uh, that trap room. I could run into greed here. Let's see if I do. Nope. But I do. That's the worst item in the game is the portable slot machine. Um, not maybe not worst item in the game, but it is terrible. I'm going to take this heart. And here's a, you know, just, uh, I'm going to go check out what the boss gives me. See if I want to re-roll that. If not, I'll go back and re-roll the, the slot machine. And uh, I'm managing my re-rolls. I'm a little bit pokey, but I'm not too bad. I look like a real badass. So I love the way that every, the way Isaac looks at the end of this. Oh, this is great. Okay. So the Fallen is a tough boss. He's rare. Um, but... The cool thing about the Fallen is that uh, 
he gives you deal with the devil items. You guys saw me go in that deal with the devil room. Um, I can talk about that just a little bit. Uh, so you're more likely to get, the less damage you take on a floor, the more likely you are to get a deal with the devil room. Um, in kind of general terms, like in real, the technical way is you need to, if you don't take damage on a boss, you're likely, and if you don't take damage on the floor, you're likely. Um, also, if you blow up beggars, which I don't like doing, um, because they're really useful. Um, all those things increase, and then you kind of have an increased chance the longer you go without it. All right, so he's giving me rage. I'm gonna take it. It's gonna give me the sweet headband. I'm gonna go back and reroll the portable slot machine. Um, rage means that for every uh, character or every uh, monster I kill, um, I'm going to do increased damage. So uh, if rooms with full of guys, by the end of them, I'll have tons of tons of damage. Um, rooms with just one guy, or I'm not as good with. Compass, well worth it. Again, that shows me where everything is. Great defensive item. If uh, in those later floors, you can make a beeline for the the rooms of interest. So yeah, I'm having amazing luck so far. Six hearts, flying, really good damage, um, rage. This early in the game is really good. So. Let's see, I kind of want, like I said, I kind of want to have a bad luck run so you guys could see what it's like. But you do, what the game is, it's about doing what you can to uh, to push, your, you know, your advantages and in, into your direction. Like, kind of try to stack the advantages you have. This is the catacombs. It's the dickier version of the, oh, troll bomb, um, of the, the caves. So this is going to fight, I'm going to fight tougher, tougher monsters here. But it's not as bad as the next one. The necropolis is really tough. The thing that those guys are throwing out of them, you can actually get that item. And I, I like it quite a bit, actually. Where every once in a while you shoot a little worm out of your stomach. Okay, I'm, two keys, it's probably not worth using that. Harlequin Baby is a good upgrade. Um, he's another familiar, so he's gonna follow me around. You see he sprouts in kind of spread shots, though. So. These guys are real pain in the ass. They're pretty tough. Their shots do a full damage, but dime is very nice. Oh my goodness. So this is a deal with the devil item. They sometimes show up in here. That's why I like going into these rooms. And uh, this is a great one. So damage up, rate of fire up, and two spirit hearts, all for free. Slot machine, I'm gonna blow that up. Um, there are advantages to playing slot machines. You can, uh, but I'm not gonna take the damage on the way out. I'm gonna use a bomb. Um, you can get keys and hearts and all that stuff. You can also get the dollar, which is exactly what it sounds like, um, which is great if you get it early on in the game. If you don't get it early on, it's not so good. Um, I know that greed is not in my shop, and uh, the reason why I know that is if you look at my map on the lower left, there's a little skull. It's a mini boss, and he's not in the same place as the, uh, the shop. So um, I'm gonna go to the shop with my 17 cents and my one key and get something rad. Um, I don't know why I came up here. I want to go into that, um, but you need to have one heart, and it gives you a boss item. So it's like you killed a bo you kill a couple of uh, mini bosses, or actually, I mean, early bosses from earlier in the game. There are no mini bosses, and you get an item that you would get. So it's usually an HP upgrade. Well worth it. Even if I didn't like, I could reroll it because I have my D6. So it's a real shame that that uh, that was closed off to us, but. I can't complain. And there's actually a, uh, a strategy you can do um, if there's an arcade where you can play a blood bank to get your yourself down to a certain level. All right, man. I'm having amazing luck. The nun's habit, item martyr. So now um, every time I get hit, it's going to charge up my item halfway. So what I want now is an item that restores health or protects me or something. Because every time I get hit, I'm going to be able to use it again. Um, even an offensive item would be worth it uh, because I'd be able to use it all the time. Um, there's some ways you can make yourself invincible with this item. It's pretty neat. Um, Sloth might give me an item that I probably won't take, but I might re-roll it into something something good. You give me a bicycle card, two of spades that doubles my keys. Um, or if I have no keys, it gives me two keys. So I'm going to save that for when I need them. I could go up there and see what that room is up there, but I'm, I probably will take damage, so I'm just going to go. Carrying Queen. This is a dead version of a monster called uh, Chub. Um, so it's a skull version. You can only hurt him in the tail. 
He gets smaller and faster as you go, and he releases this toxic poop. Um, he is a tough monster. I've got six bombs. I'm probably going to use one on him. Um, but he's actually pretty tough. I am making short work of him, though. Oh, and then he switches into his diagonal mode. It's really difficult to dodge that toxic piles of shit. He does that. But I'm not going to have too much of a hard time with him. I did get another deal with the devil. This high heals is a range upgrade, which I could use, but I want to see what Satan has to offer me. Very interesting. All right. All right. Rerolling them. Um, so this is a really good item, Brimstone here. For one heart, it's really good. The only issue I have is it kind of makes my flies redundant because I don't think it's produced flies, but I'm going to grab it anyway. Whoa. There we are. Um, it didn't want to let me there for a second. So this range upgrade is not even worth grabbing. I'm gonna just going to grab it so Isaac's wearing little high, high heels. So it turns me, I have to agree like that to charge. And when I charge up, I shoot this beam that has unlimited range, pierces uh, through enemies and through objects. Very powerful. Um, the only disadvantage to it is that low rate of fire. But the reason why I thought that was okay is because I have these familiars who fire as I'm holding down the button. So I'm always shooting out something. And uh, these guys will kind of back me up until I, until I get there. But look how powerful that is. That is very powerful. I'm going to use my two of spades to get two keys to go in here. This item is actually interesting. This is a, a smaller version of this, so I'll pick it up to use it once. Um, so it's kind of like a shitty brimstone. $3 bill is not going to do anything for me because I'm not shooting tears really. Um, so I'm not going to get that. I'm going to wait to have another reroll built up, which will be either if I get hit twice or if I go through three rooms. Those bomb guys, you can trick them into checking for secret rooms for you if you want. Like they will bomb bomb walls, um, which can be very helpful. So that cost me half a spirit heart to find that out, but it also recharged my thing. That's worth it. What do we got here? So this is poison touch. I mean, I hit people, I do damage to them. I'm not gonna take it, because um, I'm gonna have a lot of rerolls available on this floor. And I really want speed or health at this point, or um, a spacebar item that I want to have uh, take advantage of that nun's habit and get recharged really frequently. It's one of my favorite rooms to run into when I have flying. I get a bunch of keys and bombs. These guys are a big pain in the ass if you don't have an item that pierces. I'm going to come back for that map if I get five more cents. Um, that mushroom I passed up is not a bad uh, trinket, but I think that golden penny is going to serve us well. So the golden penny does, or counterfeit penny, is sometimes when we get coins, we get two coins. So sometimes doubles the value of what we pick up. And like it didn't there, but worth it. So I have a reroll. I'm going to trek on back. If I was a little bit faster, this would be more interesting to watch, but uh, I'm trying to get faster, so I think it's probably a good, good idea. Book of Sin, always use these once to get a free thing. I got a health down pill. If I can manage to hold on to that until I get to the cathedral, which is unlikely, it'll turn into a health up pill. But uh, actually, I have two hearts, so I'm just gonna do this little trick to speed things up. Chocolate milk. Chocolate milk makes you sh charge your shots ordinarily. With brimstone, it means that uh, I can shoot without charging fully, but I do like a fraction of the damage. So I'm not gonna take chocolate milk. Monster Manuel is terrible, but I'm gonna use it once so it doesn't show up again. Gave me a robot baby, which I actually like, but and I'm gonna have to go back to my, my old ways of doing this. All right, I'll actually try one more. I'm being very meticulous here. Bomb bag, I don't want that, really. 
I just, uh, I'm really holding out for a miracle here. All I need is a miracle. Um, so we'll see if I if I get it. No, I wasn't paying attention there. These guys are all about managing their line of sight. Um, fuck. All right. Well, I'm not doing great. So, man, I'm I could die on this room. I have lost it a little bit. Lost the plot a little bit. I got a little overzealous with my. Uh, yeah, so Greed is in that, that, that's the secret room, that's where Greed's at. If I beat him, I would definitely get enough money to go to that shop, but uh, I might also die on him, so. That's a terrible item. Terrible item, I think it gives me five bombs if I pick it up, yeah. It just lets me time when my bombs go off. So the game is definitely punishing me now. <laughs> um, and I would really like a little bit more health. So I can't go in that room because I don't have anywhere close to full health. That is appreciated. This room I can should not take any damage on. I can fly over the creep that these guys leave. But it does mean unless I hurt myself again, I'm not going to get enough charges to go recharge the thing. That really sucks. Let's just try finding the boss. I need to get him into a firing pattern. Fire me. Good. He gave me some health. This item does nothing for me, so I can reroll this, so I can reroll the item room one. Um, um, bottle of pills, which is exactly what I didn't want. Be good. That's actually excellent. Balls of Steel gives me two spirit hearts. I think this is a health, that's bad trip. I'm gonna keep bad trip. If you use bad trip when you have one half a health, it turns into a full health. And that is the only thing about it that's worthwhile. I knew Greed was here, but I wanted to fight him because Greed always drops a lot of money. And could also potentially drop that health. And I'm going to use this to go buy the map. Uh, but that was a shitty pickup. And I guess I got four spirit hearts out of it, but this floor was a lot less kind to us than the other floors. Now, I could sacrifice one spirit heart for one more roll on that item room item. And I am gonna, because items are really the name of the game. And this, I'm trying to stack my advantages. Um, oops. So this would be a, a controversial move I'm doing, but I really just want, there we go. Halo of Flies is perfect. Two little guys that fly around me and will protect me from more than one heart's worth of damage. So that's well worth it. If, as long as they, you know, block me from four shots, that paid for itself. Or two shots, that paid for itself. So, anything in here that's interesting? I'm not really going to do that. I don't need to at this point. They get harder as you go. Or I'm in the depths. Might be a little bit tricky. Two health down pills. There are two items you can get that turn all negative pills into positive pills. And that would have been excellent to get. All right. So this is the way I'm going to take this floor. There's a library on this floor, that book icon on the upper left. That's excellent because one of the items I really want to get, man, they love giving me these health down pills, um, is a book item. That is not enough money, but I will go into the shop because I can do it with a bomb. And I like that item quite a bit. But since I don't have a good trinket, that's not going to be worth it for me. So instead, I'm just going to heal up. Here. And that was well worth it. Ow. Oh. And I'm still producing a good number of blue flies. I earlier said that I wasn't producing, I wasn't like stacking that advantage very well, but I am. I'm still making a lot of blue flies. 
tinted rock there. They're easy to miss until until they're not. And uh, it's good not to miss them. Library contains one of those items. So book of revelations, I can use this. Every two times I get hit, I'm gonna be able to use it again, as well as every six rooms. That's a good chance of success in this. If I get an item in the, uh, over here in the item room called the wafer, I'm actually invincible at that point. I can't lose the game. Um, and you'll see how that works. Um, for this floor, I am invincible because if I get hit, I take half a heart of damage. If I get hit again, I take half a heart of damage, so one full heart, and I get to regain a whole full heart. So as long as I'm diligent about using my item, I'm invincible. On the womb, though, in later floors, enemies do double damage. The wafer is an item that halves that damage. And instead I get able, which is a pretty terrible item. Um, able does the opposite of what I do, so he's over there shooting, I'm over here shooting. It's garbage. If I wanted, if I was playing like scientifically perfect Isaac, I would go back and grab my D6, re-roll Abel, and then uh, go drop it off for the Book of Revelations. But I just feel lazy, I guess. I feel like there probably are tactics with Abel you can do of like not putting yourself in any danger and, and actually making some good things happen. But I have never been able to really make him work for me. He's really distracting. Like he looks like an enemy. It's one of my least favorite items in the game. I think you unlock him really late too. I think it takes a lot to to get him, uh, which sucks. All right, fight mom here. It's a champion version of mom. So this is the worst mom. This one only summons items from the expansion, which are way harder. But keep in mind, I'm more or less invincible, so I won't lose health. Or I shouldn't. Uh, I think if she stomps on me, it maybe still does a full heart of damage. But anything that does a half a heart of damage cannot hurt me or cannot permanently uh, do anything more than inconvenience me the reason why I'm not just hanging out in one spot above the rocks is because uh, mom can uh, stomp on you for those so I get the Polaroid I need that to get down pageant boy is uh, probably the worst item you can get from these boss rooms one of the worst that just gives me some money i have 15 cents but there'll be no more shops so the only way i can use that is if i run into a, a judgment or a beggar which i might there's a good chance i will but there's also just as fine a chance that i won't um this is actually a really cool thing that just happened here because i am a i have a url xl so it's both floors and i know how to get exactly the boss so this is saving me a lot of a lot of going um, I could go to that arcade over there and check that out, or that secret room, but I think I'll take more damage on the way. And uh, the secret room, or the arcade, could actually give me some cool stuff if it has a fortune teller machine in it, but not worth it. This is a really easy item, or a really easy enemy that appears as a boss sometimes in Blastasis. You run into versions of these guys on the first floor where they don't have their jelly armor on. And they're all cute and sad. And then uh, here's where they're all... They smile when they're all armored up and they're going to try to kill you. Um, because of, uh, you know, YouTuber or the Lion, I call these things diglets. You know, I think they're like vagina dentatas. I think they're supposed to be teeth inside your mom's uh, vagine. Double Loki again. I just fought him in the last one. He's not that. He's a kind of a rare boss. But. But he's not a hard boss. So I'll take him. No problem. Uh, tears up. So this is the, my rate of fire. If you have brimstone, it makes me charge up faster. So it's worth getting tears up even if you have brimstone. And the mom's heart boss fight. Brimstone makes this pretty easy. 11 bombs. I'm going to throw some in there. I didn't get that zombie. 
think those enemies are actually called knights. So she's probably going to kill Duke of Flies. Yeah, I don't really have to. Um, so no problem there. You notice that door to Satan open up. That actually goes down to Sheol, which is the alternative to the chest. If I'm having a bad run, I'll go down to Sheol and fight, fight that. But it's not like the true ending of the game. It's not the most challenging thing you can do. So I like to... Uh, to go ahead and do it up. I'm not even gonna grab that. There's no universe in which that'll be useful to me. Uh, okay, these guys suck. Um, charge into you and they blow up when they hit you and I'm really slow because I never got that speed upgrade that I wanted. So maybe that lard will end up being the, the death of us. Just like me in real life. That's not true. I'm only mildly fat now. Uh, so eff effectively, like what happens now when you have the Book of Revelations nun nuns habit combination is you're not able to gain health, you just lose it slower. And this item here is the steam sale. Makes everything in shops 50% off. Pretty funny. Um, but there are no more shops. So, fuck it. That was a terrible room. Uh, got a chain reaction there, which is nice. Okay. Now to fight Isaac. Brimstone is actually an awesome weapon to fight Isaac with. Because even if... So if I gotten all the tier upgrades I wanted, um, he'd be shooting a lot more than this. And uh, Brimstone does a lot of damage and only fires infrequently, which is clearly the advantage for this boss fight. Um, okay, one more. I might remember to use my... Uh, I'm going to end up beating the chest again. I've got that bad trip pill, which will turn into full health when I'm about to die. It's not going to fill up my spirit hearts, but it's going to give me another five hits when I eventually, you know, lose it. So you're, this is very rare. What you're seeing, two, two runs this fortuitous. Like, this is not as insane as that other one was as far as good luck, but very good luck on this run. Some playing to my strengths as well. You know, some uh, pressing advantages, tilting the odds, you know. The way I think about it is kind of like how you can play uh, perfect blackjack. You know, like how you have the computer still, you know, the odds are still against you, but just barely if you play scientifically correct uh, blackjack. I always try to play scientifically correct Isaac, if I'm able to. As I say, as I get like hit like a thousand times. Shit, 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 get out of there. All right. We're still gonna get to the chest. Whether we beat it this time, like I thought, is to be determined. These little angel fetus things are hard to deal with with brimstone because I want to shoot them, but I also need to charge to shoot the the main bad guy here. The spirit heart's gonna help, and whatever four items I get here from here might help. And I can talk about them. All right, quad shot is gonna make uh, this take four times as long to charge up, but because I have all those tier upgrades, it's worth it because um, it's gonna do four times as much damage. Charm of the Vampire lets me, uh, every 14 enemies I kill, gives me a, uh, a, health up, a health up. Holy Water is a passive item. I'm not gonna grab it though, because it glitches and turns your familiars into, uh, <clears throat> I have the one on the bottom there is Brother Bobby. The one above it is Harlequin Baby. If I grab that, it's gonna turn Brother Bo or Harlequin Baby into a Brother Bobby, which is less useful. And this is Teleport or the Doctor's Remote. I don't want it. So really, the, how, what kind of shitty rooms I'm going to get going through here is going to determine how likely I am to, to win this. I'm kind of prioritizing these guys. Um, Lust first because he chases you. Gluttony because he had to manage his line of sight. I forget, keep forgetting it takes me longer to charge up. But I do a lot more damage. Um, the chariot is not better than that full health pill, but I'm going to use it on a real dickish room if I run into it. Like that, fine. He 
see greed has the most health out of all those things and he spawns other enemies so he was clearly the the priority let me go back for that full health bill though yeah right Pills here. Okay, scratching my face. I don't need to be alarmed. I still think I'm gonna make it without full health. If I run into like an enemy, there's a my least favorite boss in the game is an enemy called the Bloat. If I run into like a champion Bloat, that guy could actually kill me. He's in some ways like actually like a lot harder than the final boss. Um, <clears throat> as long as I don't have like terrible luck with who I run into. Here into the end, I'm gonna do fine. I got picked up that quad shot, which made my, you know, my blast take so much longer to charge. If you recall, these boss fights, you want to charge powerful shots infrequently is much better than uh, not powerful shots frequently. Ooh, so we haven't run into the, one of these yet. This is the second secret room. Don't need any of this health, but it's a nice item or a nice pickup. All right, <clears throat> here's Blue Baby, AKA question mark, question mark, question mark. I want my flies to spawn and fight his flies so I don't have to worry about them. This is no problem. We're definitely gonna win this. No problem. Yep, and there's another two very easy, successful Binding of Isaac runs in a row. I don't know what happened with that, but uh, yeah, thanks for watching. If you like these videos, like, uprate, subscribe, all that jazz. Um, you know, we appreciate it. It's kind of a side venture to the podcast, so theoretically, there could be people who watch the YouTubes so don't listen to the podcast. Uh, watch out for Fireballs as a podcast about old video games, not about Binding of Isaac, but uh, I definitely brought it up a thousand fucking times on there. Because I really love it. Anyway, uh, as long as you guys keep uh, enjoying these, I'll keep making them. And.